you can download from QED open production orders. Downloaded orders show their type, which allows to identify if it's a discrete or scheduled order. You can see production line here. Order status shows if order have been released into production. You can also see what's open order quantity. Plant orders that have been automatically generated by MRP to cover existing or projected demand are also here and can be turned into firm or exploded orders. The of production planner automatically suggests you type for the order as a discrete or schedule based on the item setup and shows production line or work center it is defined at, which, is, which simplifies the uh, order creation process. Before making changes to the existing orders or creating new ones, you, you can quickly run component availability check for a selected set of orders to identify existing and potential component shortages. You get a sh shortage summary for each work order on the main tab and having it you can also look into the component requirement details. To identify component requirements, production planner will first roll down production orders to the components level uh, using item bombs, identify components that have been already released into production, and calculate required dates and quantities for each component. Then it will take available and projected quantities on hand order sequence and cumulative lead time and simulate allocation of components revealing projected shortages. You can see if component is purchased item or sub-assembly by looking at the item type and you can, if necessary, you can exclude or include sub-assembly components into uh, component availability calculation. Okay, status has been assigned to uh, various components you can see quantity required here, you can see quantity that's available after allocating all previous orders and the status. If capacity availability check is also a part of the production planning process, you can check capacity availability for a selected set of work orders from within production planner as well. In here you have a capacity status in addition to a component availability status for each work order. It is shown against each work order. So here, for each run date, for each work center, you see the list of orders. They come into the predefined sequence, and you see how they consume capacity, how much hours are available, and how much are left after each work order is complete. Capacity shortages are shown in red as negative remaining capacity and quantity that cannot be produced due to the lack of available capacity at the work center is shown in the quantity to reschedule column. Based on the projected capacity availability and suggested quantity to reschedule, you can adjust your production plan by changing production orders, quantity, due dates, and or sequences. Also, this production planning tool allows you to simulate production plan roll forward based on the available capacity. This data did not go into QED, so it's just pure simulation. Also, you can run multiple what-if scenarios for components availability check. Um, when you need to verify if you have enough capacity or components for the new or modified production orders, you just need to make changes to your production schedule, production plan, or your orders on the orders tab and then run any of those reports. It will calculate the available capacity for the for that order. I was running with roll forward so it shows okay but if you're happy and satisfied with the result you can now at this point upload uh, changes you made here in the spreadsheet to QED database. To do so, you just need to switch 
create update flag for those orders you modified to yes and click on upload button. Once orders have been created, they will just show uh, on a separate tab with the approved work orders list. You can release them from here or print them or if you don't need to release them yet, you can just close this report and then go back to order list tab and re-download your updated production schedule. For example, you can review MRP details or check item bomb and routing. So you can click, you can select the item or work order and can look at the MRP details. You can also review the item bomb and routings.